Hey guys, if you are getting low FPS or stuttering when you are gaming, then not to worry, as in this video I'm going to show you all of the steps you can take to improve the performance of your Windows PC and to boost the overall frames per second. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it and we're going to first change some settings inside of the start menu and search for settings and then tap on the settings tab. Come over to system from the left here, inside of display and then come all the way down to the graphics section and come in here, select change default graphics settings and we need to make sure hardware accelerated G GPU scheduling is turned on, as this is a feature that is designed to reduce the load on your CPU, which will minimize latency and improve the overall performance. You can also come down to this section, Optimizations for Windowed Games, and you can also turn this on. We can then come over to the Accessibility tab from the left here, come all the way down here to the Mouse tab, scroll down and come inside of Mouse. And then we want to come down once more and inside of additional mouse settings. Head over to the pointer options tab and you need to make sure enhanced pointer precision is unchecked as this is absolutely terrible when it comes to gaming. Just press apply and OK to save those changes. We can then head out of the settings window and next thing we're going to do is head back to the start menu and search for run. Tap on the run icon and inside of here you need to type in system properties advanced then hit enter. Now inside of this advanced tab, come over to performance and hit settings. Underneath visual effects, you want to select custom and then just select the options that I have here on the screen, which are animations in the taskbar, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts and the rest of them we can leave unchecked. And once you've selected these settings, we can then come into the advanced tab and underneath virtual memory, you'll see a number inside of here. This is a number that is automatically allocated by windows and now we're going to come in and configure this by selecting the change button. Then deselect at the top here where it says automatically manage paging file size and come in to select custom size. So as this size is in megabytes, we need to first convert our RAM size into megabytes. Obviously there is 1024 megabytes in one gigabytes of RAM. And once we know the megabytes of our RAM capacity, we are also going to multiply it by two. So let's bring up a calculator. And say for example you have 4 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, we're going to times that by 1024, which gives us 4096 megabytes, and then we're going to times it by 2, which gives us 8192 megabytes, which we can then put into these two columns here. Now if you're unsure how much RAM your computer has, you can simply come over to the start menu and search for system information, tap on the system information tab, and then scroll down to the RAM section, and you'll see a section where it says installed physical memory RAM, as you can see on my computer. I have 24 gigabytes of RAM installed so we can come back over to our system properties menu and inside of our calculator I'm going to times 24 by 1024 hit the equal sign and then we're going to times that by 2 and this is the number that I can use in my custom size so I'm just going to tap that number in here and do the same for the second column and then we can press OK to save the changes and you'll get a message pop up saying that you'll need to restart your computer for these changes to take place but for now we're just going to press apply and OK and close out the calculator then next thing you're going to do is come back to the start menu and this time search for control panel tap on the control panel icon and come all the way down to power options inside of power options make sure you have high performance selected then close out of this window and come back to the start menu and search for run tap on the run icon and this time we're going to type in ms config and hit enter now inside of here we're going to disable some startup applications by coming over to the services tab select hide all microsoft services and hit disable all then come over to the startup tab in the top select open task manager then inside of the startup apps tab you'll see all of the applications that run when you first launch your computer now all you need to do here is disable any applications that you don't need starting up when you first launch your computer for example down here i have epic games launch up on my computer every time it launches I can just disable that by right clicking and selecting disable then head out of the task manager window select apply and ok to save these changes and once again you'll get a message pop up saying we need to restart our computer but for now just select exit without restart the next thing we're going to do is free up a little bit of space on our computer by coming to the start menu and searching for run tap on the run icon and inside of here you need to type in temp and hit enter then we're going to select everything inside of here by pressing ctrl a on your keyboard right clicking and selecting the the trash icon if you get this message pop up just select do this for all current items and hit continue and as you can see the majority of contents in this folder is going to be deleted there might be a few things left behind which is absolutely fine just means these files and folders are currently in use we can then close out of this folder and head back to the start menu and search for run again tap on the run icon and this time we're going to search for percentage sign temp percentage sign and hit enter once again we're going to select everything on our keyboard by pressing ctrl a right clicking and selecting the trash icon and once again select do this for all current items and hit continue 
Once we finish inside of here, we can close out of this window and head back to the start menu. This time you're going to search for programs, select add or remove programs, and we're going to sort these applications by which ones are using the most amount of space. And we can do this by using this sort by field and selecting size large to small. And basically you just want to go through this list of applications and uninstall anything that you're not currently using. Just be careful uninstalling anything that you're not sure what it is, as it will probably end up being something your computer actually needs. But if you see an application in here that you no longer use, for example, I have Skype down here that I never use. We can just come to these three little dots and hit uninstall. We are now gonna optimize some settings within our registry editor. So come back over to your start menu and search for registry editor. Tap on the registry editor icon. And before we make any changes to this, it's always a good idea to create a backup. So come over to file and select export. Give your backup file a name. I'm just gonna call it backup and hit save. And that way, if we need to revert back to our original settings, we can do so by coming into file and then pressing import. So first thing we need to do inside of here is expand the H key current user tab inside of system. And then you need to tap on this folder game config store. And inside of here, you should see a file called game DVR enabled. Double click on that. And we're gonna change this value data from one to zero, then press okay. Beneath that file, you should see something called game DVR FSE behavior mode. Double click on that and we're going to change this value data from 0 to 2 and hit OK. We can then collapse these folders back up to the top and this time we're going to come in H key local machine inside of software. Scroll all the way down to the Microsoft folder and expand that. Look for a folder inside of here called policy manager. Once you've found policy manager, click on the expand icon, come inside of default and then look for a folder called application management. Then come inside of allow game DVR and you should see a file in here called value, double click on value and then you need to change this value data from one to zero and once again, press OK. Now that's all of the settings we need to change inside of the registry editor so we can close out of here. And the last thing we're gonna do is make sure our graphic drivers are fully up to date, which you can do by pressing the start menu and searching for device manager. Tap on the device manager tab. Now underneath display adapters, expand this box here and locate the graphics card that you're currently using. I have two installed on my computer, so I'm just gonna do this for both. But you need to right click on your graphics card and come into update driver. And then we can just search automatically for drivers. If you do get this message pop up, just to ensure that we actually are running the latest version of our drivers, you can come over to an internet browser and and then we can come to the official website of our graphic card driver. So I've got a NVIDIA graphics card, so I just come to nvidia.com and we can download the latest driver update from here. And there we have it guys, I'd now recommend restarting your computer for all of these changes to take place. And once your computer restarts, you should now be running the most optimized version of Windows. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.